Hi, this is Jeff Blankenberg again. Uh, we're focusing on another portion of day 11 from the 31 days of Mango. And in this case, I want to show you just all the options we have for updating tiles. Uh, some in pieces, some, uh, some specific parts of them, uh, as well as whether or not to change the background image and things like that. So what I have is the emulator running here. And you can see that if I flip over, I have an application called Day 11 Live Tiles. This is the application we'll build. Uh, in the example you'll find, uh, that this video is posted in. Uh, and so if we just go ahead and pin this to our start menu by holding down on it, you can see I can click pin to start. And now I have my, my tile. Um, this is our default tile. This is the, the icon that we provided when we built our application the first time. Um, but we want to change this. We want to be able to update it. And so our application actually allows us to do that. So what I have is a, a few little controls here on my screen. You can see that I have two different images, a happy face and a sad face. Uh, I have a slider here. You can see that I can slide that uh, up and down from 0 to 99. Uh, I've specifically designated those values because that's all the, uh, the numbers that I can use when I update a tile. And then I have a text box here. So if I wanted to update the text um, that, that appears on top of my tile, I can do that as well. So to start, uh, I want to show you that if I just add a, a number, if I leave it at 0, I won't get anything. But if I change this to a number like 14 and I click Update Primary Tile, when I go back to my home screen, you'll see that now I have this 14 right here in this black circle. Uh, as we discussed earlier in the post, this is a, a default layout. The circle is always in the same place. It's always the same colors. Uh, but it's a way to add a, a small counter to a tile very easily. Uh, so that's the first thing that we can do. If we jump back into our application, you can see I'm not saving any values. Uh, but I can change this to 37 this time. And uh, this time I'm also going to change the background. So by clicking on one of these, and you'll be able to do this in your application, I'm allowing you to choose one and then flip between them. Uh, and you'll see that if I choose the happy face and hit update primary tile, now I'll have a circle 37 on this, this background, uh, as you can see here. So now I have the smiley face with a 37. And then finally, uh, if I come back into my application the final time, you'll see that I can choose, uh, let's say the sad face, we'll make this a bigger number like 70, and we'll write uh, sad panda uh, on the text. And if we hit update primary tile this time, what you'll find is that we've also added text there to the bottom. So these are the three values that we're able to change and kind of fit into the, the predefined template for us that is a live tile. Uh, and later in this uh, article, we'll also talk about how to create secondary tiles uh, and even do things like make it flip over. But I wanted to make sure that this was illustrated so that you understood exactly what we were trying to do. Thanks.